a somber salute from Canadian troops as four busloads of Ukrainian forces head home from this British military training camp. These soldiers that come through here are fighting for their freedom, their homeland, their families and their future. And it is an absolute privilege to be a part of that process and help them to do that. 170 Canadian soldiers have been based at this camp for the past year and have trained 2,600 Ukrainians, part of Canada's Operation Unifier, to help build Ukraine's military capacity. The majority of the Ukrainians who come here were, until recently, civilians. And after a five-week intensive training program, go home to Ukraine to fight in a war. We just need to push the enemy from our land, these bastards. Grizzly is a furniture maker and is married with two kids. He never held a gun before coming here. I really, really enjoy being here, especially Canadian instructors. They are tough, but still, I do enjoy like working, training with them. As part of his visit to Europe, Canada's Defence Minister Bill Blair stopped by for the salute and to meet the Canadian trainers. The training that's being provided here, um, I believe in the evidence that the Ukrainians have provided us, is, is actually saving lives. It's, it's helping them be far more effective in, in their military response to Russian aggression. Blair also announced that some of Canada's previously pledged financing to Ukraine will go toward air defence systems. My perception is that Canadians overwhelmingly understand, um, not unanimously, but, but I think very, very over, overwhelmingly, there's a strong consensus of our responsibility to support Ukraine. Canada has pledged more than $8 billion in aid and military assistance to Ukraine since the start of Russia's full invasion. But it is many of these new recruits who will pay the ultimate price. Redmond Shannon, Global News in the southeast of England.